The fact that we have proved that so much of, of our work can be done at home means that not only do people not need to be in the same geographic place to um, to do their work. In other words, they don't have to be clustered in New York City or in Chicago or in LA. They can be anywhere. And the talent pool expands a great deal yes. because people who either didn't want to move to a, to a different city or didn't want to have to commute into an office every day can now be available to you. The communication became more and more important. The feedback was is that, wow, the team felt like they bonded more. They um, they felt like they know each other better. They felt like we're more cohesive. I had a great leader once tell me, your life sits on a three-legged stool. One leg's professional, one leg's personal, and one leg's family. If any of those legs get, get too long or too short, your life will Will fall off the stool. So what I would say is as we come back from being deployed, as I called it, at home uh, to the office, I think we really need to look at that rebalancing. We'll do about 3% growth in the first quarter, but then growth is going to really accelerate. In the second quarter, as people can do more outdoor activities and people are, are continuing to adapt to a COVID economy, by the third quarter, it's going to increase again. By the fourth quarter, I think this economy is going to be booming just because of the receding pandemic. Uh, there's going to be a huge pent-up demand for travel, for leisure, for entertainment. I think the real trick in the fourth quarter of this year is going to be, can you find a table at a restaurant, uh, a seat on a plane, or a room at a hotel? But you have to go back to basics and how to differentiate and, and how to, to uh, use existing relationships to go back to the good old referrals. Um, how are you using uh, handwritten thank you notes to differentiate yourself? Those are getting pe people's attention. The adoption happens that the value is easy to articulate and generates an emotion that you can feel. Combining human intelligence with capabilities like artificial intelligence in our organization has made us better. And the behavior of transformation then becomes really organic because like most sports teams, winning's fun. Once you, know, you see winning with it, it becomes something that you want a piece of that. You know, you also want to win. You want to stand on the podium and feel, you know, uh, ticker tape parade. Take full advantage of where you do have distribution. Are you advantageously set up? Are you taking into account, you know, everything to offer before you move on? We as a financial institution were the first to put out our gender pay gap numbers two years ago. Um, we made a conscious decision to release those numbers because we truly believe that what gets measured gets done. Um, so all of us, all the leadership teams across our organization are focused on making a difference, closing that gap, uh, being as, as inclusive, as diverse as possible. And each of us has measurable metrics against that so we can move the needle further. We need to lead by example. If we're going to ask people to put out their EEO data, you know, we've already got our diversity report that goes out and it includes that data plus. In the portfolios that are very ESG focused, they actually perform better. But people see that you don't have to give up performance to make a difference with your money. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you, if you if you don't really have an opinion on this, you don't really care and you're, you're, you, you've seen this before, I am telling you that the money that's coming in that wants to be reallocated is moving towards ESG oriented products. It's just a fact. The mm -hmm. flow is incredible. And the courage we have is since we're a large investor in many, many companies is to ask that when they come in before their proxies and, and show us what their strategy is for an investment, we would like to know what their plan is for ESG. And I will tell you, 90% of them are very into this and want to do that. But we raise the level of awareness and attention that this is really important to be doing. And the CEOs have stepped up to the plate. And now we're trying to, to get into a cadence where we can have some measurement systems to, to hold them accountable that they're successful.